previously on Talk That Talk. Now, did we do things differently? Did we add some things? Absolutely. I'm not being gonna... creative. Well, well, yeah, but the the whole the whole conversation is about being, you know, or, or pretending or acting to or like Southern. What I'm saying is that is the only area in where I agree with you at to where there may be a lack of creativity, but I don't think that the 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 idea or the next thing is to sound like Southern. No, I didn't say that. I didn't. I just. I, I just say people don't know how a lot of traditions that school have. Okay. The, in, a, in a new generation, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like school like Norfolk, somebody who's never going to change their style. They don't they, they do what they do and they stay how they stay. But for the most part, a lot of people might fall victim to, I guess, being how Southern do because their, their styles of what their school have been doing for so long, it just whack and it just don't work no more. You know what I'm saying? So if cranking the old blowing is hot and it's getting all the kids there, you know what I'm saying? Jackson get accused of it all the time. They're just doing like Southern do, but Jackson numbers always up. You know what I'm saying? It's like, but if Jackson, if people Jackson don't stay Jackson, they still would have had their numbers up. Exactly. True. Right. But that, that's just an example of, of saying what Jackson do. A lot of people just don't know how to be creative and make it good. Do you think that banner records that go to these schools from Southern, I'm sure in the back of their head, they say, I don't want to do, I don't want, I want to do anything but Southern. I'm sure they do like Brown right now. I think he's doing a great job at keeping taking Southern tradition. I'm saying he changed some things and making his own way, but People still gonna accuse them of being and sounding like something, but, right? but, but a lot of that, but a lot of that still has to do with exposure too, man. You know what? And this is this is no slight to Brian because I really do think he's doing a great job at Texas Southern. But I will say, in with people like that, like a guy who graduates or a kid who graduates from Southern and does not go anywhere else and does not get any experience. If he graduates directly from Southern and he go gets, gets a program, he's only going to teach what he knows. I mean, that's just, that's just how it is. The, the, the greatest thing, the thing about, and this is why I, I, I went back to those old directors. The thing about those old directors, they got experiences from other places. Multiple places. When we talk about the Dr. Sanfords and all of them, they went to other schools. They taught at other schools where they were able to get different knowledge and, and apply that knowledge to their 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 whole mass of, of mental capacity that they have. And then when they got these new programs, they were able to add those pieces on. So we're saying the same thing. Because I, I said that as well, right? That's why when you I'm said, sorry, hey, I'm, I'm, I've lived it, I was at PV, right? You're different. You know what I'm saying? Like that goes back. That's why I give credit to where you said maybe it's old school versus new school, new school, because you you right there in the middle school, right? And we're gonna call it like you're gonna call it. You're right there in the middle school, Luke, right? So you understand what it's like to be able to say, This is where I came from, this is how I was developed, this is my background, but this is also what I'm building my foundation off of, based off of what I went and chose or what the environments that I went. And put myself in the information that I sought after, which helped shape you as a musician, as an artist, as a band director, to where you can be able to have an unbiased please go back program. Go back. Go back. Go back. Everybody doesn't necessarily have that. So that's why I say when that subconscious or, or, or unsubconscious, that conscious or subconscious, rather, excuse me, comes into play is if you don't have that background, which then goes to the conversation of the people that are in these seats, do they need to be in them? Because if you don't have enough leverage or enough background, enough enough experience to be able to figure out or, or, or kind of differentiate between where you marched at in undergrad versus how you have a vision for this new program can be they can coincide or they can be totally different. It's best for them to be able to be totally different because you have to be able to, to, to be abreast of what's going on aside from where you came from. So I right. think they all are saying the same thing. I, I think, <laughs> but I, I do think it's possible that you, just, all right, for, just Brian, for example, stand on that. One can say he just left Southern and now he's going to Texas Southern and he's doing a, a damn good job of keeping the tradition and changing things. So does that mean that he, he didn't go anywhere else and get all of this experience that you quote unquote need versus a lot of times. For all, I think that for all, every band that we say trying to be Southern, let's look at their band director. And let's see, and, and let's see where that, because not that really not that many. 
right? Like, uh, um, it's well, not for the more. What are the school band directors from Southern besides Alcorn? Got an old cat like Dr. Zachary. Uh, what what is it? Not older cat like that. I'm saying like it, just saying like old school director. You know what I'm saying? Versus new school. So like, what is, a lot of these directors are not from Southern. The one that's saying trying to like some, a lot of them not coming from Southern. So what about those those guys? It just seem, it just seemed like we saying that they came from that school and they know how to know how to do that. They all all they know how to do is where they came from. It's a lot of band directors had that this quote unquote doing Southern that didn't go to Southern. So what about them? I mean, in most cases, and I'm gonna be honest with you. Well, first of all, first of all, I'm only gonna speak from a secondary standpoint on this on this because most most universities that I see that are trying or or I'm not even gonna say it's trying to sound like Southern, but trying to emulate the Southern sound. Um most of them do come from Southern and the ones that don't they don't usually sound good. Facts. And that's my point. Southern sound good. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, but I don't no, know, but I'm talking about Quine. <laughs> no, 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 but 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 I'm saying, but like we can all agree that Southern has a distinct sound. I think what we're basically overall preaching is regardless of whatever undergraduate that you come from, you, you don't have to always emulate that particular institution that you went to. Prime example, when I do become a director of bands, that don't mean that I'm going to be doing drum features in the middle of the show every time, just like the box. And I think that's the difference. But the, the, the band directors at the collegiate level, the few that we spoke about, the ones that went to Southern, do have that edgier, brassier sound and the ones that didn't go to Southern, they try to get the Southern sound, they don't sound good. So it's kind of like you're 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 trying to emulate something that you don't know. That's just like saying, you know, when people try to get a New Orleans accent, they'd be like, say baby. And they'd be like, well, shut up. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of yeah, like that. Like, like, all the time. Say it, baby. Yeah, yeah, like like bro, like shut up. You know what I'm saying? It's it's so it's no difference, it's no difference than you trying to emulate a region that you don't know because you don't understand the culture. Or if we say, uh, if another race of a person is trying to act black, you'd be like, bro, you ain't got it because you not you, you don't come from that. So when people, band directors specifically, are not true to themselves, maybe they don't know how to develop a sound. Like Maya uh, is saying, maybe they don't know real talk who they are, like Maya said, to the point where they just don't know how to develop an overall tone that's distinct about them because real talk we gonna we gonna be honest how southern i'm sorry not southern high pv sound when i was there is not the high pv sound now period it's not and it's not the same pv when prof ed was there in the 80s early 90s it's not that's the case i don't know too many schools that actually stay the same for real for because you look at southern they bad sound a lot different a lot different I mean, now, yes. I'm, I'm, is, about saying, I'm about to start saying, what's, what's, I'm looking at these comments too, because a lot of them like, this, uh, what's, if band come from a certain style, right? Everybody changed. We all, we all started somewhere. Things changed over the years. So what's so wrong with Southern style if it's working? That, that no, no, no I'm not. It. That's the thing. I'm, I'm, I'm not comments. mad at Southern style. What I'm saying is people are trying to emulate it who may not have been there, where it's kind of like Southern is the, it's kind of like we're standard. making Southern, we're, we're, we're making Southern the only standard of HBCU, where Norfolk is a standard, Prairie View is a standard. You see what I'm saying? Like, there's really no diversity in sound anymore. And that was my argument from the, from the stand sure. perspective. That was it. That was literally it. There's just no, there's no diversity in sound. Everybody's trying to sound.